Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north, the very, very cold north today it seems in War Tales with the Dees Herters, your possible favourites, the Dees Herters. So last episode we got through quite a lot of the map, we went all the way down south and sort of unlocked all those locations sort of thing. We have checked out a few things here and there, I have got a few more teeth now, so I am going to go back to a tracker's camp at some point and buy the thing I need to buy. We do have this contract that I need to deal with very quickly, so I'm going to resolve this and then I'm probably going to head back to Caution just to do a bit of a resupply and I do want to go check out and find this black steed and maybe do a few other locations today as I'm getting back to the trackers camp I've also had a little bird told me that I missed something in the shipwreck cabin so I'm definitely going to be going back there to have a quick gander so I think it's going to be just dealing with these locations more than anything today I might see if one of the scenario things pops up but I guess we'll see as it goes let's get out of this camp we're not in a particularly bad place. I would also like to see Skullord get on with stuff. I haven't customized you yet because I need a barber's kit, which I can only buy at town. So let me get to town first before you look a little bit different. But hopefully we can pull you in on this fight as soon as I can find them because damn, the snow, it is coming down. I assume they're in this forest somewhere. Let me go find them. Are they attacking something else? Oh. Well, I mean, as much as I would like to do that, uh... Oh, they're also level 7. Of course they are. Hang on, it said that it was an easy contract. Yeah, it always says it's an easy contract. Every time I feel like I'm getting played lately. Well, at least I'm going to have some allies. Not that having three wars is really going to help me too much. But one, two, three, four, uh, six, eight, nine of them. Damn, man. I also like that the wolves are just on my side. That's, uh, I like that quite a bit. Okay, well, they're probably going to be kind of well hidden in some cases. I think I can see a good start for Krista to just swing in there. They're going to be, they're going to be in this. They've got to be in this. I feel like I'm going to need to pull someone else sort of back here just to keep. Put Hila there. Let's put, I think you guys could probably handle this. All this setup, unless they're actually just secretly next to each other here. They, they, they might be. Now, what do you, what do you know? I guess I can't hit them both, unfortunately. Who's going first? Ooh, E, ah, uh, okay. It's not a bad start, by any means. Right, you are locked down, which does mean you are gonna probably do less damage with a spear. I say less damage, 24, still insane. This fight is kind of nuts. To say that, once again, this was supposed to be a low-level fight. It's automatically already not a low-level fight. It's already a massive pain in the ass. So we're going to have to see how this goes. No, go fight the wolf, man. Okay, actually, slow down worked pretty well there. Who's next? The bomber, which I don't want to do any damage. So, Bolt, get in there, start pounding. Take them specifically to Pound Town. Okay, you're next. I don't think there's really much I can do. Well, I tell a lie. I tell a big stinking lie. In hopes that it works out. Let me... Stand here. Good start. Now, stand here so you're going to get the point anyway. And then line this bad boy up. That should hopefully help. No movement for you, good sir. If you're gonna play me like this, then I'm gonna play you too, game. Right. Who can get in there? Rolf. Just get me the point. Also, because you'll be kind of tucked in, I think you'll be kind of safer than you look, I'd say. I hope so. You get repost anyway, so you can do some damage in a second. Okay, arm was basically gone. What is this? Units of attacks apply fragility for one round when they are adjacent to at least two enemies. The unit has galvanization as long as they are next to two enemies or more. All, all of this is just dangerous, man. It's all it's all dangerous. None of it's safe. Okay, come on round. I don't I don't particularly agree with the game's uh, how they've defined easy in this regard, but I can't really do anything about it. Ow. It just seems like an endless struggle where we're always, we are always forever just going to be fighting 
level sevens. And we, god damn it, there they are. And we ourselves are never going to get to level seven. Because <laughs> it's just, there's not enough XP to go around to get to level seven. Uh, deflection, please. Just a bit, just a bit rough going, you know? Just a bit rough going. Also, it'd be great if the, you know, the wolves actually got involved. That'd be nice. Come and, come and share the load, come and help out. Right, is that gonna hit? Will that hit two of them? It, it won't. Will that hit two of them? It will! Well, that's something at least. You're poisoned. I don't think I can... Oh, I can just get this in the right angle so I hit them both. I just feel like my people deserve better, you know? All right, get me the point, get me the point back, please. Thank you. All right, these walls need to start actually achieving something here. I didn't bring them in for no reason. That isn't... Okay, that isn't bad. That isn't bad. Right, Lyrian. I know you can't hit many of them. You're gonna move. You're probably gonna move and be a dick, aren't you? Okay. Come on, then. Let, let's be having you. Might be able to get Skullord to get in there and stab you in the back quite a bit. I assume you've got a wind-up, right? Target scenario. Deals 38 damage. Woof. Okay, who's gonna be next? Raiders next. You're gonna you're you're the wind you're a wind upper wind upper as well. It does seem that that's the case. Okay, well. Now we know hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're all right, they're all here. In that case there was no one behind us, which is a little annoying, to be quite honest, but hey. Roll with the punches. As they say. I would at this point, honestly, try and make sure that guy dies. That way the wolf will get freed up. Well, we say that. We say that. That's a little awkward. Right, get in there. Although, there's a lot of, like, two-range people going on there, so don't go too crazy with it. Okay, they've got one health. They are going to die. It's just, unfortunately, going to take a bit longer than you'd think. Right, Skullord. What can you do? So, applies four poisons to all units in the area. And then you've also got small explosion. And you've also got increases the critical chance by an extra... Okay. Come here. We are going to think technically galvanize the raider. Yeah, that's a... It's kind of unavoidable, really. Now, can I throw this and hit the two that I want to hit? Or is it just going to hit all of us instead? It's probably going to hit us all. Oh! No, I can do it. Just. I mean, I can technically throw a bomb. I've got to use everything in my abilities this time around. Because the game isn't playing and it's not pulling any punches, so neither can we. That's just the way it rolls, baby. God, I wish you could run faster. I feel like we need to give you run as an ability, honestly. Bleed? No bleed. It's alright. Right, which jabroni is going first? That saboteur needs to die. As to whether he will or not is a completely different question. I could technically throw through... Sorry, wolf. It was worth it. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It was worth it. It was. I tell no lies. It was worth it. Right. Get in there. Right. Armor's gone. Pull back slightly so you don't get hit in the swing. Which one's going next? This person. Woof. I mean... You're not in a poison, right? Just finish it. All right. Okay. Not bad. Cole's taking a bit of a smack, so come on. Hell yeah, girl. Pop off. That's what I'm talking about. 
Right, it's going to galvanize him, but it will also get us support in a second. I need to deal with this guy somehow. Not really what I was going for. Not quite. What we'll do is pull back slightly so you get the thing. Lyrium might be about to take a bit of a smash around the chops. I can't. I could weaken him. I don't think Cole will do enough damage to kill him, unfortunately. So Lyrian, weaken him. So at the very least, you are going to get hit, but it's not going to be as hard as it was going to be. And then, remove his armor completely, please. Not like that. Okay, it didn't even get through the armor. That's fine. That I can live with. Now, there is this guy, again... Unfortunately, I now no longer have the old, uh... I don't have enough Valor Points, do I? Diggity damn. Diggity damn. So, really... When's this guy going? Bomber's fine. The Bombers, I just don't care about. I don't really need to worry about them. Boy, I wish that did a lot more. Alright, pull back. Hopefully he's just gonna go for the wolf, but he's probably gonna go he's probably gonna go for all. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. What are you doing? Well, not ideal, but I'll take it. Also, I'll take that, thank you. You're far too kind. Now let me see about getting is there poison regardless of where I go? Let's get galvanized. I'll take two. That's two's better than one, obviously. One is the loneliest number that you'll have now. Okay. Now I could technically come around now, but I will be walking into the fire if I do that. So just just hold huh, hold fire. I think I'm gonna go just to make sure that Bolt doesn't get destroyed by this guy, I'm gonna go deflection. Oh, it's the next attack, isn't it? The bomber's just gonna punch him. So it's not gonna matter. Yeah, okay. I was taking into account the Raiders attack instead, but it, it's fine. I'll, uh, somehow handle it. I just don't know how yet. I don't think we can technically handle it. Uh, okay. Back of the net here, please. I need you to go help out with Lyrian. I wouldn't mind so much. I wouldn't mind these fights where they're like super high level compared to us so much if we actually got some good stuff from it. But most of the time, one, either we don't really get anything for it, or we get stuff that we can't use because we're fighting level 7. So everything that we get is like a level 6 or a level 7 thing, which isn't ideal. I don't think I can really do much about this. I think we're kind of just stuck as this. Uh, I could go here. I don't think... Actually, I tell a lie. Give me a second. I've got a bit of an idea. Ha 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 ha! Suck it. Okay. Good job, Eli. I didn't even think about that until, well, then, technically. And he's got vulnerability. Great. You're going to have to wind up again. Or perish. Those are your two options. Secretly, there was only one option in the end. All right. Through overwhelming numbers, I'm seeing the end of this. It's just taking a hot minute. Right. To be fair, I might have just line that one up to die from bleeding and poison. It's going to hurt, though. Yeah, it's not ideal. Drop dead. Thank you. Okay. What's going to be really sad is, if I get to the end of this, and then the wolves attack me <laughs> after all this, they're like, oh, well, now that our our main foe is gone, I can we can now handle you. And I'm like, that's, that's, not, that's not what I'm here for. Don't do this to me. Well, the wolves are probably going to just stand there and set themselves on fire. I can't do Devious Whirlwind without hitting Rolf, so stay there. I know it hurts. Where are you going? Rogar, you, you'll set yourself on fire if you go in there, which is not what anyone really likes, because you'll lose, like, what, 15%, so, like, 2.4, 3. Point, you know what, ah, screw it, it's worth it, isn't it? 
Worth it, innit? Ah! I'd say I could hit them both. I don't like the galvanization that much, so let me go here instead. I'm not really that fussed about making a bomber galvanize when they're in melee. God forbid. Right. That raid is next. Let's just deal with it, please. Goodbye. Back off, bro. You've taken a bit of damage. You're, you're okay. Like, you are okay. But it's still not ideal. Keep shooting him. He's got to go. He's got to go down eventually. As to when that is, answers on a postcard. But he's got to go down eventually. Good damage. A lot of fire, but good damage overall. I think I'm probably going to set more of you on fire, unfortunately. Saying that, I might not need to. Nice. Can I hit this guy without hitting anyone else? I can. How many, like, debuffs have I put on this guy? Some would say too many. Right, Rolf. I got his poison there. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. Sorry. Feels like fire is just a part of life now these days. God, even with galvanization, it's not really uh, doing much for us, is it? Right, he's about to go next. And I haven't really got much else to add other than he's a problem child. Like, straight up, he's not going down anytime soon. I also don't want to get him galvanized. Uh, yeah. Sorry, her galvanized. Problem is now, is that Maul might be in for a bit of a pummeling. I don't really know. There's not really anyone here who can be of uh, use now. Yarman, can you get in there without touching the fire? I don't know if you can, buddy. You can get there. You might be able to finagle it a bit. No, 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 no matter where I go, there is fire. Okay, that was, that was big. Now, maybe I can seal the steel off. Bolt, into the, into the purging flames, please. I wish that was the execution one, because getting hit with a mace in the head is a pretty big one. Okay, we did it. I'm not a particularly happy with what the game rolled at me, but the fact that we managed it makes me feel a bit more proud. Once again, level six, I can't do anything with that. What was that um, book? I assume it's just something I can sell, right? Yeah, it's just a ship's log. On the plus side, Duchess gets level 5, which I do love to see. Critical hits I'm not too fussed about on Duchess. It's more going to be con and strength. So I guess let's put her con up to 28. Her survivability will go through the roof. Each time unit engages, they gain deflection. That's pretty good. First, I mean, that's okay. As long as the bonus is active on this unit, their attack supply weakening. I'll go Bulwark. But both Korra and Femris are our big tanks, more than anything. And then Rogar will also get to level 4, so good job on doing that. I'm not really that fussed about willpower, although critical hits isn't a bad thing. But then there's nothing really... I could do a career path to add like a plus 1 onto one of these, I guess. But you know what? Fine. Let's roll the punches. Let's give him 17 willpower. Let's make Rogar a little bit... Give, give him a better chance to crit. Okay. That was fine, as long as I don't get attacked by the wolves now. They do seem to have run off. I was fully expecting to then get rumbled by them, which would, which would have been very annoying. I'm still waiting. Honestly, I'm still waiting for it to happen. All right. Let's get camping. Another another thing I'm just going to throw in here for the time being. By the time I get to, like, level set six, the stuff here is going to be just, like, worthless. And it's going to be like, I should have just, like, melted it down in the first place, you know? But... It is what it is. Let me get that there and done. I don't think I need to do anything else in particular in the camp per se. So let's just get everyone fed and then let's get back to town. Okay, how, how far is town? Because I'm struggling to see it in all this snow. I think it's a, it's a bit of a walk. I think there's a way down here. I'm going I'm to figure it out. I also need to go give us... Oh no. I saw that movement. Is that a bear? Are they bears? I'm going to try and maneuver them because I don't really have... I don't really have the time for it right now. Back off, bears. They're going to chase me. You're not going to chase me? Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's that group that keeps waylaying us. 
I want to kill them, but I don't really... I, I just want to get back to town right now and get on with, like, other stuff. Oh, Snooter. One day I'll come back and get them, but I just don't have time for it now. right now. I just want to get on with some more stuff on this map. But I am going to have to take a small detour because the lore are there, and they are, for some weird reason, looking for a group of people who stole a recipe for porridge. Who would steal that? Haha, -ha, foiled everyone. What can I say? I'm something of a rebel myself. Right, let's get to Korsha. Let's get things repaired. Let's buy a few things here and now. Let's get this handed in. Obviously, paying everyone off is going to offset how much money we're going to make. But hey, that's just life, in it? Oh, cool. So we can actually make this. I mean, it's, it's more for the um, knowledge than anything. We're not going to be able to use it uh, to build anything yet. But I think I should be able to also sell it. So let me just prepare this. I also got a ruby out of it. That's pretty cool. Oh, I almost got a knowledge point. How much are these worth? Because obviously... I'm not going to be able to use them for making stuff anyway right now. They're only worth four. Man. Okay, fine. I guess I'll put it in the chest. Finding that out a lot, aren't I? I've just got loads of stuff in the camp chest, which is only in there because I can't use it. I would like to build a lectern pretty quickly. Let me see what I need to build that. What do I need? There's probably enough stuff around the town that I've sold in the past that I could just use. Two leather and nine wood. I think I can probably scarp that together. Hang on. Okay, I think I found enough. Obviously, I had to buy back a few things, but I don't think it was... It wasn't really too expensive. And plus, we can now do this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And the lectern is built. We can finally deal with a lot of that stuff. I also got a knowledge point, which is very, very good. Let me get that placed. Uh, I'll put it like... I don't know. I really need to sort out the camp. I think it'd be nice to be sat in this little uh, corner here. Scored. Here you go. Uh, let me have a look at what I can put in here, then. So, if I pull this out... So if owner a scholar could restore this, a scholar could restore this. I mean, I'd rather you do the, uh... I keep reading that as the Astartes Codex, and I'm like, weird placement for Warhammer, just there. So what do I need to do? Restoration. You must place three runes to attempt a restoration. I'm guessing, is it like through trial and error? So eventually you will figure it out. Okay, you know what? Let me... <laughs> Let me pull out something a little bit easier for him to start with. It's like I've just hired this, like, score, and I'm like, literally crack for the Vinci, crack for the Vinci code, please. And they're like, can we start on something a little bit easier? I'm like, oh, God, if we have to. Science call of the current research will end in seven rests. Seven rests. Three rests. Okay. Fine. I'll do that one just because on the off chance we might actually see the end of that today. There's a lot going on there with that, but I guess I'll keep this stuff in my inventory for now because I've got someone to actually uh, handle it, which is very cool. Let me quickly make some wolf sausage. Weirdly, I think we've kind of turned a corner a bit on the old uh, food problem, although I'm not going to say that out too loud because as soon as, you know, I say that too loud, it's all going to go to hell very quickly. I'm going to keep some of my salt and wheat though because I feel like... I feel like I might need it for the Black Steed. That's as white as we're getting. So, I guess we're going with that for the scholarly details. You don't, you don't, you look old before your time. But, uh, maybe you've just had a lot of stress in your life. So, maybe that's why your hair's gone white already. Or sort of like a grayish tinge. I used the knowledge point to get the pony plate as well. But I do need another ghost leather to make it. Which isn't too bad. Especially when I'm going to go and pick something up from the hunters later on which will then hopefully let us get the leather from it by drying it so we'll go from there right i've got enough to sort of move and shake around on i've got the food for it i think i'm gonna go to the steed place first i had a quick look in the inn there wasn't really anyone to hire although i'm not really sure how i mean it's so we've got so many people already at this point um there's not really obviously there's not really a hard limit on people to hire hey lady i'm talking i'm talking it's rude we're a big group at the moment. I don't think there's actually a limit to how many people you can have in the group. I think I'll probably get another one. Like, I'll try and get another one before the end of today. We'll probably end up getting to, like, I don't know, let's say 20. And then that's probably kind of a good place to sort of sit on until... I was about to say something else, and it hasn't happened yet. And because it hasn't happened yet, I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm going to quickly nip to the, the Abbey, though, and hand in these flowers to that um, lady for the first aid. I'm not entirely sure what she's going to give me. Um, I think it might be something all right. I can't quite recall. Hi, hi. No, not you. Again. Go away. You're, you're insane. Hooch is crazy. Hey, go. With some thanks to you, I can finally get to work. Thank you very much. Take this. I hope it will prove useful. What is it? The gurney. Ah, yes. That is good. 
I thought it would be. So yeah, the gurney effectively, where is it? Like that. So one injury is healed during a rest. You don't need to use medicine. It is actually very good. Uh, although I cannot build it right now, but it's not the end of the world. Right. Let me quickly head back now. I do need to go quickly buy some rope on the off chance I can capture this horse. Unless it just wants to be my friend. Okay. So two... God, I'm getting lost here. To the fishery first. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, one out of 25. Am I close to any of these? Five out of 20. Four, four out of 10 is probably the closest, but... What's that, Lawless? We'll have five fights against the guards. Send five people to jail. Win five fights against merchants. I'm not really in my merchant robbery life just yet. Maybe maybe some point soon, but just not yet. Man, this place is just lawless, isn't it? Group A, group A. All I want to do is get go go fishing, mate. Am I not allowed to do that? I'm going to have to camp, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to camp. It's fine. It just means that we can um, actually do this a bit better. Eh, we've actually discovered quite a lot of stuff. Uh, that's not really... Like I say, 30% isn't actually so much more. Um, yeah, maybe coordinate gathering wouldn't be bad. But a 50% chance to collect another is also pretty decent. I don't really plan on fighting anything right now. It's just going to be going up to there, buying the thing we need, legitimately buying the thing we need as well, not just stealing it. Although I could steal it, I might just steal something else. See, now that I figured out that I can just steal stuff and kind of semi get away with it, that's all it takes now. I'm going, I'm going absolutely mad with it. It's a dangerous thing to be on. Dangerous slippery scope. Slope. I said slope, not scope. Who's talking? Demris? Oh, Skullord will, will feel like one of us. Maybe I should go and talk to him to make him feel welcome. That's very nice of you. Also, I like this. This looks very cool. Integrate, integrate Skullord to the other companions. Get one relationship with close companions. Make a big deal of introducing Skullord to the group. Five, I, I don't need the happiness, to be fair. Take time to speak. You could befriend him. Or you could just get relationship with close count. I say befriend him. I think you get close. Befriend. Fenris unlock the trait sociable. Fenris and Skullord's relationship has improved. Let's have a look at you, Fenris. Uh, who doesn't like you? Okay, Eli tolerates you. That's because he wants to shot you in the ass. So if anything, it's the other way around. And Yarman, well, we know. And then you like Skullord and you like Duchess Cora. But you did say you're sociable now. So what does that do for us? Makes friends more... I mean, I... <laughs> I could have written that. Okay, fine, whatever. It's nice, though. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just like, I probably could have guessed that a mile away. Anyway, let's get to this fishery and let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm pretty sure we did say something about it had to be nighttime for it to appear. I could be wrong about that. Let's see what's going on. At least we can fish, maybe. You'd assume it's a fishery after all. Uh, oh, yeah. Rolf, it's... Well, maybe I should get, give Rogar a chance. Let's give Rogar a chance. He does need to learn somewhere. You know? I know that Rolf can get, like, three fish for the price of one. But let's at least let our boy try, you know? Tell you what, you do two, and then Rolf can do one. Because I think with the one fish, with the one fishing ability that Rolf can do, he'll get as much as uh, you can do. Did you just miss? This was a little bit harder. Like, usually I'm like, ah, oh, fishing's the easiest minigame. But it's actually quite... I'm actually having to, like, really focus on clicking at these pikes, man. Right, and in that case, then I'll get Rolf to finish it off. Which it might be easier for him. Oh yeah, instantly, this is more like a doddle. Where last time, it was literally like shaking it around like that part of a in Ace Ventura. And I got some wood. Not, that, not like that. Okay, great stuff. Is there anything I can... Is what I can inspect here? Hello. The trough is empty. Let's just throw some wheat in there. There are a few handfuls of wheat in the trough. Can I throw some more? Hi, Dark Steed. How's it going? Look at him. Brawny and nimble. Hello. I'm just going to talk to him. I know he's a horse. The pony seems to have escaped from the battlefield. It looks like it wants to follow you. Well, yeah. Welcome to the group, Dark Steed. Your, comp your companions are wondering why. It's... Bro, it's a horse. My guy, it's a horse. Uh, and it also gives us more carrying capacity. Look at our carrying capacity. We now have three horses. That's that's cute. I'm going to keep his name Dark Steed unless someone else wants to name him something else. I do feel like Dark Steed should be a a war horse, though, you know? I, I feel like that should be a thing. You know what? I'm going to leave it to you guys to decide because I can't decide myself. I think I'll just leave him 
as it is. Let's just give him a break from war, because it seems like he's been through a lot. And uh, whatever, whatever everyone else decides, we'll go with. Do we want him to be a war horse, or do we just want him to be a pack mule? Not a pack mule as in he's a mule, he is a horse. He's a pack horse, really. You know what I mean. Right, we're going to do the rounds again, and hopefully find something fun. Although first, I am going to do some more fishing, but I'll quickly do that off camera. Apparently, apparently I can't. God, this... You'd think they'd fix this sort of thing. Oh my god, I can't actually... Please! Let me... Oh my... I'm like press... I'm having to like really... Ah, oh, screw it. Screw it. Well, first things first, actually, I am going to quickly go and check the cavern, because apparently I did miss something, and I am curious as to what that thing is. Apparently it's in like a dark corner, but I just sidewinded myself on. So let me have a quick dig. Oh. Watch. The tunnel continues to darken. Oh, I need a torch. Do I have enough to make a torch? I don't. What do I need? Grease. God. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's going well. Watch what? I want to know. Well, I need to find some grease now. I can't get back up. I'm stuck again. This is... Ugh, man. The pathing. The actual pathing. Who would sell me grease? Where would I get some from? Guys, if the lore is still after me at this point. If this is your first time I, uh, hunting the ghost pack, I suggest you make sure you are fully prepared. 65 to 125. I could technically go on the rob, and then I could actually use my um, teeth to buy other stuff, I guess. But I'm not really, not really using these layers. Uh, they do seem to be like level 6 layers, which I'm not really there yet. I don't think I'm, I'm not really using oils... Yeah, pork stew wouldn't be bad, though. Pork pork beans and salt. Oh, and you do sell white leather, which I do kind of need to build the pony plate. Hmm, interesting. How much is that? It's 15 for one, which I wouldn't be able to afford. Although, I have got the perk where I, everything is a bit cheaper now. Oh, I'll do it lawfully. You've got me, game. I'll do it normally. You'll, you'll rue this day. You'll rue. Okay. Thanks. Let me quickly just go here. Let me get that built. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It's surely it's in here somewhere. Am I just I'm blind, aren't I? There it is. What do I need for it? I need nine woods. How much wood do I have currently? Probably not. I've got three, so I need six wood to make it. That's that's manageable. Um, and then I also need grease to be able to make a torch. I just assume that you guys just don't sell torches. Or, you know, just have grease on you. I, for a second, I thought that was grease, and I was like, guess I'm going on the rob again. S seriously, once again, it is not healthy or hygienic to keep that chicken, that raw chicken, in a bag. I'm not devoting this entire episode to finding grease game. Although I am going to quickly go back here. Has it auto-completed itself? It has auto-completed itself, so I don't need to go back and say, by the way, I found the horse. You don't need to be scared of him, unless you want to be scared of him. Although, I might quickly go see what, if they react to us having the uh, Dark Steed. Am I really going to walk to Lahart's castle just to ask them for Grease? I might. How do you react? Woe betides anyone mounting the Black Steed. Never mind the mercenaries. And the okay, so they were, they're really scared of the Black Steed. But the Black Steed is with me now. Look, clearly you don't actually know what it looks like because you'd be more scared of the fact that he's literally standing right next to me and for that i should really steal your food but i'm not going to i'm trying to turn around i'm trying to turn a corner let me quickly up to the heart's castle and hope that maybe they might have some grease i highly doubt it though. they're like greetings soldiers do you want to join the war effort and i'm like not really i just i just want to see if you're selling any grease and they're like what the hell are you on about after class fled the count's henchman needed a new blacksmith to replace him I haven't seen my family in weeks. Okay, well that kind of confirms that my heart's the massive asshole in this situation. Can I build the uh, the pony plate whilst I'm here? Sorry, I know that I'm listening to your plight, but um, there's something else I wanted to do. What do I need? I need four coal. I can buy that from this guy. Well, I'm about After to make you a slightly friend, richer man, my friend. Not really, though. Right, pony plate, pony plate, pony plate. Where is it? There it is. Do I have to forge it or does it just get made? 
it's just, it's a big thing, so I wasn't sure if it would be the case. Right. This should hopefully stop Stomper from getting absolutely butchered every five seconds, and I don't have to watch him as much anymore. Okay. Stomper, come here. Where are you? Where are you? And here you go. Ah, oh, nice. I mean, it, we have just tied loads of shields to him. Is that really light? Well, whatever. He's now got loads of armor and backlash skill. What's backlash? If the user still has armor, they reflect 15% of the damage sustained to the attacker. Cool. Yeah, I'm into it. It looks like you've given me, like, the rhino treatment. Yeah, all right. Welcome to the war effort, buddy. Anyway, have fun with that, Cyril Lance. I'm going to leave and I guess go talk to Lahar very quickly. Hey, buddy, have you got any grease? Grease, 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 grease. It's just alcohol. This is a weird problem to have. Hello. Count Lahar is willing to pay handsomely. Renegades from both Vinalis' army and ours have gone into hiding in the region. If you can convince at least two of these groups to join our cause, the... Nah. Our spies have spotted strange black caravans around Vanalis's castle. These caravans must be stopped if we want Vanalis's finances to dwindle. You are going to accompany me. Hidden amongst you, I will look like a mere mercenary. And I'm going to go with no dog. Hello. Have you heard all these louts complaining about my so-called cruelty? How dare they? Am I supposed to forego my birthright just because Vanalis had a dream? Whilst I agree that the dream is a bit is a bit sketchy, you do sound like an absolute asshole. So, um, see you later. I don't believe I'm gonna have to go back to town to get some grease to come back again. But hey, at least I'm going to uh, see a lot more camping today, and we know what that means. We get to see what happens with the lectern. Works out, doesn't it? Ugh. And then I guess I'm gonna slowly walk my way up to uh, Vanalis's castle to see what he wants to give me, as in like the scenario options, because. I'm not really big on helping Vanalis. He seems like an asshole. Sorry, Lahar sounds like an asshole. I mean, Vanalis might be the same way, but he just might be like, oh, for the glory of God, sort of thing. Uh, I need a pony to go there. Rolf, go there, please. I still can't build the other thing. I need more wood. I could probably buy that at town, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Right, let's get the food in. And then I'll quickly get a few things from town, including some more woods and some grease. I don't believe I'm having to go all the way back to town to make a torch to then go back and see what the hell is going on in that cave. But hey, you roll with it, don't you? And then we'll go and head over to Vanalis' castle to see what is cracking over yonder. I know it's been a lot of walking, walking and talking today, but sometimes, you know, just hanging out like that is nice. Right, I need I need to buy my wood back, please. Oh, word she said. What do you mean you sold it? Okay, that's only a little bit more wood by now. The guards are busy chasing other criminals. You are no longer wanted. Your crimes were forgotten. Your stolen item count was reduced to zero. That's how it's done, my guy. Okay, great stuff. Let me quickly run back to that cave. And then I'm going to quickly run back up here. And then we'll get on with actually the scenario. You know, that thing that we need to resolve in this county. Okay, it only took half a uh, fatigue bar to get back here. This better be worth it. Oh, there are actually pirates in here. Well, I'm just going to crack my knuckles and get them beaten down. And also, we can see how Stomper does with his new uh, armor set. How sneaky! How sneaky of you to all just be in here. I'm also surprised I actually got a horse in here, you know. It's, it's, it's quite a small, very small area. Okay. Well, I think we kind of surround them by quite a bit. I think the only issue is we're going to get... There's a lot of, like, two AoE axes, I guess you could call them are surrounding the area, and there's not a lot of room to work with in that regard. There's a lot of them here. Rolf being surrounded by himself isn't very nice. Where's Ela? Can you shoot all these guys at once? That would be very good. And then if we can get, like, I don't know, let's say Rogar here. Skull can go there. Stomper can just go to town. Okay, this will do. Who's first? This poacher. Yeah, we'll see about that. Jeez. You are so lucky, it's not even funny. You don't know it. You just don't know it, Mr. Poacher. But, man. Clinging on by a thread. A literal thread. Okay, well, you can get a double smack. No, you can't. You're too far away. Right, Bolt, go lock him down then. Be a deer, would you? Oh, damn. Yeah, I'll do. Get me a point, please. 
tank it. 14 is not great, but I will I will tank it, as they say. Who's next? That hoodlum. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Uh, Radonis, could you kill that one? I don't think you're going to be able to throw it at, an, at the best angle. Well, I take that slightly back. Bolt, my guy. Okay. That's not very nice. Oh, that's not very nice either. Okay. You asked for this. You did. You did. Okay, Rolf. Get in there. Swing them both in. If you if you could, please. Nice work. And now, if you could taunt that one, that would be fantastic. I will get the point back anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. Just give the game a second, as always. You're going to do a really crap punch, and then our boy is going to repost. And almost kill you instantaneously, my guy. All right. Good. Who's next? That poacher as well. I don't know if I can get... Oh, no, I can. I tell a small lie. I can get in there. That's where I can kill it. I think I can solve it out. Give a point. And... Haven't really seen any uh, executions today. That's a really weird thing to say, isn't it? I know... I know what I said. All right, well, Ela, could you come a little bit closer, please? Don't shoot your friends in the... That's better, especially when you're firing upwards. It'd be, it'd be a bit dumb for you to shoot your friends then, wouldn't it? Yes, it really would. Diggity damn. All right, off you go. Wait, where are you going? I guess that's fine. You're probably going to set someone on fire, aren't you? Well, you might not. Because you stood away from them. No, you've actually avoided... We've avoided getting sent for which is actually kind of nice. Uh, to be fair. Right, Duchess, go lock that one down. Go destabilize it. Say goodbye to your armor set. I'll take it. Bit rude, but what do you expect from... Pirates? I think... I mean, I, I still don't know. I, I assume they would be. Or they're just bandits that are hiding in a cave. One or the other. It could be. It could be either. It could be both. No idea. But fine. Uh, Maul's there. Lyrian's there. Let's go here for a sec. Let's throw this poison vial and hit these three. Very nice. And then Super Bomberman, if you would. I'll take that. And then if you want to go here. First kill for Skull Lord. Good job. Although you won't get a point because you're slightly out, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, just because he got his first kill doesn't mean you should then kill him. That ain't on. Right, well, I guess I'm playing that game now. Why are you always just slightly too far out? Why? It's... It's noticeable, is all I'll say. Alright, fine. We'll handle it. I don't think spinning's gonna really... I'll take it. It's a little bit of extra health. Extra health, extra damage. But at least he came to you. And you've got, like, all the armor in the world. So it's going to take a while to actually hurt you. So that's good. Uh, just seal the deal on that one. We don't need to think about it. Thank you. And then if you want to get a little bit closer, you could probably Super Bomberman right back here. Oh, you can? Very nice. That's got some AoE. Cool. Done. No song? No galvanization song? Not going to treat me to that? Okay. It's kind of there, actually. Never mind. It's kind of there. I can hear it. Where were those rocks, by the way? Here he comes! Very nice. Oh, it's my absolutely miles away. Don't worry about it. Right, which jabroni's next? I should really help out Bolt, to be fair. So, hang on. Let me go help out Bolt. How dare you hurt my boy? That's what you get. 
And you know what? Whilst we're in the neighborhood, you know? It'd be rude not to. Oh, it's been a while. Gotta treat yourself sometimes, haven't you? Good job. No, no. I wanna see what's going on around here. Around these parts. You're on fire. Of course you're on fire. It'd be weird if you weren't on fire. Uh, Skullord, how are you doing in terms of your health and stuff? Lose 5% of the maximum health, stackable, so it's 10, so it'd be 2.8, and then so it'd be 5. It'd be like 7. I think you'll be... F I think you'll live. Get some revenge. I think you'll live. I think you'll be alright. Yes, you'll be alright. Give me a point as well. Thank you very much. Who's left? Oh, it's just this guy. Silver deal. Thanks, Arkids. Good show. Let me heal. I need more to repair than I thought I did, to be fair. What have I got here? So, crowns, a raider's bow, which might be or might be worse than the one that Ela's got. Which one have you got currently? Dexterity 9. What's that? Dexterity 8. Yes, it's just going to be slightly worse. And then we've also got the smugglers and bar buttes, which might be okay for some person, but I guess I'll take all this crap. Is there actually another? Ah, ha, ha, ha. There is another area. This is the part where we have grease as well. I'd be like really, really annoyed. Champion statue. Well, it's something. Oh, I might actually have enough stuff to uh, repair now. I do have some stuff that I need to mine. Okay, so there's two exits. Right, I'm going to quickly mine this stuff, and then we'll get back down to where Vanalis' castle is and kind of go from there. Okay, so I finished doing the mining in the cave and noticed that there was another exit. I didn't realize it was going to put us out on the other side of the river, though, so this is kind of exciting. Where the hell am I? Was this in the was was this an early access? I feel like I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe I've just been blind. Well, let's go have a look and see what's going on. It looks pretty damp and dark. Is this just going to be Pirate Island? Have I just found Pirate? Is it, I mean I know that's Balerion, but is this actually technically pseudo Pirate Island? I can see some wolves. It looks really dark. I'm not sure how much I can actually do here. Ooh, there is a tower, and some wolves. Is that Artes Harbor? Interesting. Are there actually people there? Can't quite tell. I'm going to grab this stuff around. How come I can't grab that? That is iron ore, right? This is weird sometimes. I'm going to quickly go here. I'm going to quickly grab some stuff. I'm going to camp because I suddenly need it. Unless I... Can I get here? It's really difficult to walk around the map sometimes, you know? I don't know why it's a thing. Oh, loads of pitons and loads of bread. Great. I'll camp here, and then we're going to see what this harbor is. Okay, I've also managed to finagle the helmets a little bit, so I've at least been able to use... The ones that we did get. So I gave Krista a slightly better one. And I gave Lyrian the one that Krista was wearing. And Rogar's now wearing the one that Lyrian's wearing. I think this will be done after this camp as well. Which will be really handy. And I did dismantle that bow. Because it was worse than the one that Ela had. Man, I'm really hoping I find another archer at some point. Because that would be super handy. I would like to still be able to build the tanning wreck. But I feel like I still don't have enough wood. I need three more. We are quite close to a forest, though, so I'm kind of hoping we just pick some up. That would be quite handy. Let's get resting. Uh, also, I didn't realize this, but thanks to Yarman, which unfortunately not a lot of people like, because he is a journeyman, he does actually reduce by 5% how fast the troops' fatigue increases after a full meal. I think that's quite cool. I didn't even notice that, so I'll be interested to see what uh, other upgrades we get as we level up and go. Man, 43 isn't ideal, but to be honest, compared to what it used to be, it's still... All right. To say that we've got, like, what, 16 and three of them are horses who probably eat, like, well, horses, I think that's probably fine. Of course it would piss it down. Why do we have a bracelet? The bracelet's bright colors glimmer in the sunlight. Where did... Who pulled that from where? Oh, is that from this? The lectern. Ah, very cool. It's worth 40. Nice. Good job, Skullord. How much did you level up? You almost got to the next level. Ah, oh, shame, because this is, like, right here. What's this then? Generates a little professional experience during each rest. Generates a little knowledge during each rest. Has a chance to find fragments of a... Okay, cool. I mean, I am going to just give you... I'll give you that one. Just so we can maybe do that one again. How long does that one take? Sorry, actually. Pull that one out. Seven rests. Well, let's do that one because we might be able to see that one at some point in next episode. Kind of cool just to see it in action. What's up, Maul? Ah, what a glorious battle that was. I truly went above and beyond. If I keep this up, I'll be able to hire my own troops soon. Well, don't leave us, buddy. Gain confidence after this feat. Gain 40 influence. That's good. Make sure the whole group knows to whom they owe the victory. And no. Such valor deserves a celebration. Oh, friends of everyone. I'll take friends of everyone. 
Most relationships have improved with Ela, Bill, and Scored. Let me have a look at that. Okay, so we just like you. That's fine. I'll take that over the influence. We've actually got a decent amount of influence. We've kind of, we've kind of pulled it back a bit in that regard, which is quite nice. I was kind of hoping to see somewhat in this forest, but I'm not really spotting any, unfortunately. I spotted some wolves. No? Well, I guess I'll go to the harbor and see what's going on there. It didn't look like there were any, there's anyone, like, in it. Usually, there'd be, like, a skull above it. No, it is just abandoned. Okay, cool. Hemp, please. I will take that. I will grab all the fish and all the baits. That will be helpful for our fishing. And coal is always... I think coal is actually quite close to leveling up, to be fair. Almost did it. Almost did it in one, then. After that one. Okay, fine. There we go. Journeyman has a higher chance to finish chest items. Great stuff. What was in there? Tracker's breastplate. Level 4 required. Light feathers range plus 1. That could be good for Ela. And then also a military port, which gives us a knowledge point. Amazing. And that is heavy armor. Okay. Might be able to utilize that for uh, Duchess. Let me just quickly do this. Let me just go to our little group very quickly. Ela, what have you got currently on your little... Oh, you've already got range plus 1. I don't really know who, who else it'll be useful towards him. I guess when you throw this, does that have a certain range? Like, that's got an 8 meters area. So if I did this, would it be 9? It is 9. You know what? Fine. I'm actually okay with that. That's uh, that's quite handy. Right, so Fenris, you've got the super duper ghost breastplate. I assume this is not going to be as good. Critical damage plus 5, but everything else is worse. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do heavy armor as well, right? You can. Is this going to be better? Okay, bar the movement and the carrying capacity, which honestly, I can live with the, with the less carrying capacity just for the extra crit damage, which I don't think that comes with. It doesn't. Extra guard and extra armor. Also, it's a vibe. Look at it. I quite like that. Very nice. Uh, and then I might be able to give this to someone else. Maybe. Although I'm not really sure. It's a bit better. It is, it's like a teeny tiny, you know, tiny, teeny tiny bit better. And then I can just give that, fold that to someone else, I would guess. Sure. There we go. I, I, I'll take it as a win. Um, is that better than the one that you're wearing currently? It is. Only slightly. You move and shake around a bit. And then let's have a quick gander in here. There's going to be like another group of people, isn't there? Oh, hello. What's all this then? Oh, it's an arena. I only thought the arena was in like a certain area. Hello. Why settle for a shack when you can have a whole arena? This is not what I was expecting. A hideout like this is important for morale. You're telling me. You dare come to our arena. Kind of rude. I I'm only... Hang on. Are you seriously expecting me to sell you anything? Okay, fine. You know... This arena is usually only open to smugglers. I mean, we've stolen our fair share of stuff. Still, we're, we're kind of wanted by the law. I mean, they don't really want us anymore, but... But since you came all this way, it wouldn't be fair to turn you away. Sign up if you want to fight. The rules are the same as in legal arenas. I know it means we're legal arena, so I don't know what the rules are, but okay. So, a team consists of four fighters. After registering, the team cannot be modified for the rest of the competition. Fight three battles in a row to take on the arena champion and try to obtain their medal. When a fighter has no more health, they do not die, but are instantly taken out of combat. Okay, so you can't lose them, but you need to get to the very, very end. At the start of each round, all units gain a random bonus for one round. Don't make a fuss, mercenary. No, no, no. I will do it. I just... I'm a bit taken aback that this is here, to be quite honest. Now, is there anything here that will help me? No. Not really. I might as well just use it for other stuff, to be fair. Uh, let's uh, let's give some more cooking stuff to our boy. I feel like he deserves it. I will actually do this because I've got a heck ton of sardines currently. And then if we quickly go into here, I'll take that. And then cook and legendary craftsman. Pretty close. Okay, well, I think I may have got time to do like one fight, but then we might have to do like the other three next episode because I think we're pretty close to the hour mark. I mean, is there just good like, compositions for fights. Can I take the horse? What do you mean I can't bring the horse in? I mean, obviously I'm going to bring in the most damage-dealing person you've ever seen. Um, is it a good idea to bring in, like, say, Ela, for example, who's, like, a ranged person? And then, like, tank? Is, is there a better way of doing this? And then maybe, like, I don't know. Um, let's say... Brr, let's say, like... Ball... Or maybe like a pikeman, like Yarman. Let's try it with this. Let's try it with these, these four. Krista, Ela, Cora, Maul. Let's 
give it a whirl. I've literally have no idea what to expect. New requirement, Selephra must be engaged in combat at the end of this round. Who's Selephra? There's Selephra. Okay. Kala, Namadre. Fine, fine, fine. I guess that's okay. I, I don't, yeah, I really don't know what to expect from here. Okay, interesting. Belt them. I mean, I guess it would make sense to bring in Rolf just because he's got, uh, gal well, not galvanization, but like invigorate. But it's it's fine. All right, let's go. I can live with... Ow. I can live with three damage. Fragility less so, but fine. Now, can't you... Let's try this. Move back slightly. Knock back. Because surely now your movement is terrible. Uh, yo, what? What the hell? You have a throwing axe on a chain that pulls you in? Ah, oh, that's really cool, man. Wish I had one of those. Oh, mate. Said engaged, right? What about if I just killed her? That still counts, right? It better still count. Do 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 do. Man, should have sort brought Krista in here by herself. Jeez. All right, Ball Maul. I'm really sorry. I don't know if we get like recovery by any means. I also I'm not sure if we get our points back. New requirement: Duchess Cora must not take any damage. Well, she's kind of about to because. Oh, that's not on. Because she's about to take she's about to take damage. That's a bit. Mm. Oh, okay. It's reward it's reward based, so it, we won't lose, it's just that we won't get as many valor points on the way back. I see. I see, I see. Con conver conversely, Krista exists, so too bad, son. Now I don't really want to get her to stand next to the fire, so let's maybe like stay away on that point. I am using a, a heck ton of Valor points, though. But, you know what? Fine. See ya, bud. That wasn't too bad. Following your victory to crowd of doors, you choose an upgrade for the rest of the competition. Fulfilling a, a requirement gains an additional Valor point. Every time a comb they gain Fury. I like the extra damage. New Arena Rules. Legionary joins the opponent's group every time a requirement from the crowd is failed. Ugh. So I keep my health, I keep the Valor points... You know what? I think I can. I think I can sneak in one more. I'm kind of into this now. Some units do not have a bonus selected. What? Oh. Um. I'll go for the armor. I guess that's the bonuses. I imagine. Fight. Cool. Do not attack the same unit twice. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Which one is going first? Gasunius. Well, I guess I'll just, like, do that then. And then you're, you're in the fight, as it were. You should already have deflection, right? Yeah. Bruh. Is it, does it work the same way? <laughs> Are they only allowed to attack us twice, as it were? Is that a thing? I kind of hope it's a thing. We shall see. That was a big tick for the requirement, right? I'm actually going to give myself Bandit's Focus. For the net for the... Ow. Don't pocket sand me. Oh, wow. That was a lot, that was a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> well, um, hmm. Quite. Let me go over here. A little bit closer. Ooh, just a little bit more. Three damage! Oh, mate. Alright, well, give me the point. I imagine you're going for Krista. That's fine. 
Okay, these guys might be a little bit stronger. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Can I technically attack any of these guys now? I guess I can attack this one. But I'm going to have to, like, Vaminos over here. Oh, resilient. All right. Ow! Quit it. Okay, Elo must not take any damage. You know what? I think I think I can live with that. Shocks away! That's what you get. And then if you want to come like here, let's say. Then if I can use recall shot, that'd be fantastic. Man! Mr. Arena alt ah, god, that's a lot of damage. Gotta be careful. He might I might accidentally send him out of the fight this way. Can you please stop? Please stop! What was that? Why do you get four attacks? Whoa! That was cray cray. I, I don't really appreciate what's going on here. Get out of here! Okay, well, that's like summer. Okay, I should pull back because I don't want you to get sound fire. This could be going a bit better. Once they're out of the fight, I don't know if I can pull them in for the next round. I imagine I can, like, recover them per se, but uh, I don't know. The fact that you got, like, 14 attacks in a row, though, isn't really on. But hey, that's just my opinion. You made a crowd happy. Duchess Cora must not move. He's against some very weird requirements, but okay, fine. I don't need to move to beat you. Get out. Okay, great. So every time a companion has supported a game repost, eh, strength of companions has increased by 5%. I'll take that just for the extra damage, honestly. When an enemy unit has a bonus removed, they heal themselves at 10% of it. The... Bro. Why? Okay, well, fine. This is gonna be a little dangerous. I'm just gonna end up keep playing it. Although, to be fair, I think I'm, a, I'm probably about to lose. So, you know what? This is probably gonna be the last round we get into because this isn't looking f too fly. So let's just make this a slightly longer episode, eh? Dana Vane must be engaged in combat at the end of the round. I mean, I don't need the Valor points, but if I do fail, then um, I'm pretty sure something bad happens, right? The Legionary joins the opponent's group every time a requirement from the crowd has failed. Yeah. So I don't really want to fail that because that would really suck. Really suck. Okay, well. Krista, if, if you would see the play. Does it count if I already beat them to death? Wait, you're not dead. You survive on one health. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't agree to that. Get out of here. Scumbag. Right, okay. Bit touch and go. It's alright. Maybe. Don't destroy Krista. Ow. Okay. Next problem is the fact that Ela is kind of just there and doesn't have a lot of health. So let's get Tibia locked down. Slice. Alright, you've also got deflection now, so you only take 30% of the damage. Wow, that's 30%. Oh, you, you heal because of that. I guess that's fine. Now, shoot that one. Send him to the other side of the map, will you? Cheers, Arkid. And then if you want to pull back a bit. I don't think you're going to be able to move much anyway. Oh, no, I, I take it back. You can move quite far. Run away. Even with slowdown? Even with slowdown... You can move to the other side of the map. That's wild. Why do? All right. Well, Chris is on fire. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, ooh. I guess we can do this, mayhaps, and then we can do this, mayhaps. It's summer. 
It sure is summer. Each companion must end their turn next to an ally. Uh, okay, game. You, all right. If I stand here, I, I, I guess I stand here. You get brutality. Now, annoyingly, I don't think I can't get much further, can I? Damn and blast. I mean, I didn't really actually do me any favors. Oh, well. You're going, for, you're going for real, aren't you? I knew you would. You big bastard. Well. See ya. I like how he's walking through the fire. That's, that's good. Ooh. Okay, well, technically that counted because... Right, good. Right, he's out. See you later. I'm gonna, like, slowly hobble my way through this fight. Oh, that means I'm gonna set everyone on fire. Alright, fine. If I'm doing it, I'm taking everyone else out. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. I guess that's okay. Belt him! And then finish the deal. Finish the job. Woof. Okay. Am I getting anything for this? Are people leveling up? I'm, I'm not, I know that we're getting, like, traits and stuff, which is good. Ooh. All the enemies start with vulnerability. Every time a companion uses one or more valor points, they gain protection for the round. I'm going pressure. Pressure. Right. This is not looking too great, is it? Uh. Oh, God. Okay. Well. God, Duchess is fine. She's just vibing. To be fair, give me the valor points instead. I do that. Do that. I, I guess. I guess that's going to have to do. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the power to kill the champion, but we're, they're going to try their best. If we fail this time, honestly, I'm fine with it. Because I didn't know this was here. And this is a complete surprise that this is going to happen. I'm, I'm pretty into it, though. All companions must move. Who is this guy? Briskhead. Look at his armor. Oh, no. He's like a... Why is he so... They, don't, they, didn't, make it, they didn't need to make him like seven foot tall. Like, that's unnecessary. Deals 13, 16 damage and randomly applies one of the unit's debuffs to the target, then randomly gains one of the target's buffs. I don't think I like this guy. I don't think I like this guy. Can he even be knocked back? He can! Which might mean he's gonna go kill them all, which I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry! Okay, yeah. Computer says that was the case. Okay, Krista, come here. He's not on fire. I'm noticing he's not on fire. He's not... Did he not take any... Uh, he doesn't take any damage over times. Why not? Is there a reason that's not a thing? I feel like it should be. He's going to go into this weird berserker mode, isn't he? And I'm not going to like it. Pull back slightly. Ow. Okay, well, our boy's still alive, at least. Hang, hang about. I've got an idea. Three whole damage, is it? That's cute. Seven damage. That's something, right? Taunt him and weaken him. Pull him off. Pull him off Maul. That way Maul can kind of escape. Okay. I feel like he's about to go into this whatever, this berserker mode, whatever the hell that is. So what's berserker stance? Damage taken and damage increased by ten. A ten stack switches to defensive stance. I don't know what bit. I don't know what his thing is, but what's your deal, bro? To be fair, of all the people, Ela must not move. I mean, of all the people to not move, that's fine. Right, you want to spin him again. Really get under his skin. Literally. Okay, we've actually got him into his health, which I'm impressed with, honestly. Ow. That's less cool. Don't do that. That's bullshit. 
All's fair in love and fighting, is it? Okay, buddy. If you say so. You just did 93 damage. Look, Krista does not care how much you're healing for. You're basic. Oh, man. Okay. And so I Ow! I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> oh, pain and suffering. Get in the bin. Yes! That was actually... Nope. Actually, wasn't that bad. Good, I would have bet on you, mercenaries. Too bad. Did anyone bet on us? Do I get anything for doing that? I get the rampart. Take your reward. If you want another one, come back and face our best fighters. Do you have more fighters, or is that is that the best you've got? I just want to quickly check. You ready to face our fighters once again? I hope you know what. Take on the arena again in hard you mode. Reward promise. Right. So now it's now it's a money reward. So did that, did you guys get anything from that? Did you guys like level? Did you guys like level up? Or like, I don't know. Did you get any experience from doing that? Out of curiosity, that's quite cool. I like that. Um, seven two eight. You got you got resilient, which is actually not not a bad thing to get. I don't think you did. Yeah, I I don't think so. I could be wrong though. I know that Duchess got duelist, which is is good. We did get some traits from it, which is quite handy. What is rampart? I assume it's a shield. Rampart. It's said that nothing can break through the shield, and if it wasn't enough, its edge was maliciously sharpened to cleave skulls. Tactical... Hang on. Well, I mean, I feel like I need to give it to Korra because she just did the arena. So, less guard, but more armor, and you get tactical slam. Deals 5-7 damage to a target, damage increased by 15% for each bonus and debuff applied to the target in this unit. I mean, we could definitely give it a try. Also, it looks, it looks cool. And the rule of call goes very far in this world. Let me tell you that for free. Okay, so we didn't really get any XP, but we did get the Rampart. And we did get, a few people did get some new traits. And we did also get to try out one of the arenas, which I didn't even know was down here. So thank you for that person for telling me that it was something a little bit further down. So it was cool, really cool to come and find the Smuggler's Arena. But I am going to leave it there for today, because we did way more than I was expecting. But I am not complaining. Next episode, we'll get up to Vanalis' Castle, see what's cracking on there. And maybe... Maybe we'll see a level 6. How close are you to level 6? You're like, what, 600 off? Ugh, that's like another, I don't know, 10 fights, maybe? That's that's quite a bit, but I guess we'll see. As always, can't wait to learn. Feel free to join the Discord and get involved in the conversation. If you aren't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to the channel, so that way you know the next time we are going out with the Deez Herters. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.